my kids. Well, what did my kids do to them? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Hey Mighty Kids, it's your pal Jared here and I'm so excited about today's Bible lesson. So you know, we're, we're in the month of February and we're talking about legendary BFFs. Do you guys have a BFF? Do you know what a BFF is? Who knows what a BFF is? Yeah, well, for, I heard some of you guys, but for the rest of us, a BFF stands for Best Friends Forever. So maybe you have a best friend, maybe you don't. It's okay, if you need a best friend, uh, we got lots of pals here. I think uh, Lady and Dwight, uh, they're looking for new best friends so they can help you guys out. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm so excited to talk, so let's get started. All right, so, the, so in our last lesson about legendary BFFs, we heard a really awesome story about Paul and Silas and how they were legendary BFFs who encouraged each other to do good works for the Lord. That's pretty awesome, right? I think best friends are supposed to do that, right? You're supposed to encourage each other to do good works for God. Well, in this week's lesson, we're going to be talking about the Good Samaritan and how to love your neighbor. So get ready, put on your listening hats or your listening t-shirts or whatever it is that you wear when you listen to good stuff, because we're going to have a good time today in Mighty Kids Bible Study. Now, as a lot of you guys might know, Jesus was a storyteller. He loved telling short stories that we call parables. Now, the cool thing about parables is that they weren't really just good stories, but they were packed with life-changing lessons that everybody needs to hear. 
So today we're gonna talk about one of Jesus' all time great, amazing parables called the Good Samaritan or the parable of the Good Samaritan. So to do that, we're gonna tune in, we're gonna get our Bibles and we're gonna go to Luke chapter 10. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a second. If you have your Bibles, maybe mom and dad. Mom and dad, I, I think I see you guys over there. Okay, cool. Luke chapter 10. Now I'm going to be reading from the message version of the Bible. So we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 10 and we're going to start our story. Well, I should say we, Jesus' story is going to start right around verse 30. So, okay, you guys all have your Bibles? If you don't, it's okay. I'm going to read for us. Luke chapter 10, verse 30. Jesus answered by telling a story. There was once a man and I'm going to use my, this is Jesus, my Jesus voice. To be honest, Jesus sounded like a regular guy. Sometimes we imagine that Jesus sounded like this, or like this. But no, he he sounded like a regular guy. His voice, my voice is a little high. His voice might have been a little bit deeper, but Jesus sounded like a regular guy. <laughs> Jesus answered by telling a story. Luke chapter 10, verse 30. There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way, he was attacked by robbers. <gasps> right let's keep reading they took his clothes beat him up and went off leaving him half dead luckily a priest was on his way down the same road now pause time out a priest is like kind of like saying a pastor you know they were in charge at the you know at the synagogue which is you know their church their version of the church of the temple and the priest is just kind of like saying a pastor so, okay, time in. Luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road or a pastor or a preacher or, you know, a church person. Luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road, but when he saw him, he angled across to the other side. Wait, time out. What? So Jesus is saying this poor guy, this poor dude, he got robbed. That's terrible. I don't know if you guys... I hope not. I really hope nobody ever gets bullied, but maybe you've been bullied. Well, these people, the robbers, they bullied him for all of his stuff. They took all his clothes. They took his money, all his stuff, his toys, whatever it is he was carrying. They took all of his graham crackers, probably, if that's what he was eating. <laughs> they took his lucky charms, maybe, for Lincoln, my little pal. Uh, they took all that stuff from him, and it's so terrible. But luckily... A, a preacher person, a pastor came by, but then what does he do? Instead of going to help the poor guy who just got beat up, he goes to the other side of the road. That's like you're walking here, boop, 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 boop. Oh no. And you keep walking on the other side. Crazy, right? Blows my mind. Okay, so we're gonna keep reading. Okay, so time in, then, a Levite religious man showed up. Time out. Okay, so first we have a pastor guy who, and thank God, I love our pastors. All right, Pastor George, Pastor Aaron, all the awesome ministers. We have good pastors. These are not, this was not a good pastor in this story, all right? <laughs> so first the priest walks by and goes to the other side of the road and doesn't help the poor dude. Next, a Levite, which is, that's like saying Brother Rudy, or maybe Brother Luke, maybe one of the worship leaders. Or maybe Sister Samantha, hmm, <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, so a Levite, which would have been kind of like one of the worship leaders, you know, another church person. Okay, time in. Then a Levite religious man showed up and he also avoided the injured man. Time out, what? So first we have the preacher guy who's like, oh, I don't wanna help this guy, goes to the other side of the street. Then we have the worship leader person who's like, ooh, Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to help this guy either. Doesn't that sound sad? This poor guy got robbed and bullied and nobody wanted to help him. That's sad. Story's not over yet, so don't worry. Time in. A Samaritan traveling the road came upon him. When he saw the man's condition, in other words, when he saw how beat up and how messed up this poor guy was, when he saw this man's condition, his heart went out to him. Okay, time out. Have you ever been there where you see maybe a homeless person on the side of the road? You see your friend who just got 
bullied or you're, some people were calling them names or you know, you see something bad happen and your heart right here, you're like, oh man, why do I feel so bad? That's what happened to this guy. He saw the poor dude beat up on the side of the road and instead of passing him by or going on the other side of the road, the Samaritan man said, oh man, that's terrible. I should help him out. Time in. When he saw the man's condition, his heart went out to him. <clears throat> he gave him first aid, disinfecting and bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him onto his donkey. Cause you know, they didn't, time out. They didn't have cars back then. They had donkeys, time in. <laughs> he led him to an inn and he made him comfortable. In the morning, he took out two silver coins. Silver coins are worth a lot. He took out two silver coins and he gave them to the innkeeper saying, take good care of him. If it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay you on my way back. Wow, okay, well that's the end. That's Luke chapter 10, verse 30 through 35. Wowzers, so this guy, he doesn't even know the poor man, all right? This Samaritan man, meaning he was from Samaria, this Samaritan man, he just saw him and he's like, ah, man, that hurts. I can't, I don't like seeing people getting hurt. I can help him out, so I will. It's that easy, right? Okay, so what does this mean? Well, this is about loving your neighbor, right? Well, why is loving our neighbor important? And what does that have to do with, uh, with legendary BFFs? Well, let me tell you. In Mark chapter 12, verse 29 through 31, Listen to what Jesus said. So somebody had just asked him. They just said Jesus asked Jesus, hey, Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And this is what Jesus says. The first in importance, meaning the first commandment, is listen, Israel, the Lord your God is one. So love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence and energy. And here is the second. Love others as well as you love yourself or love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment that ranks with these. Whoa, whoosh. not saying the other commandments aren't important, but these are the two most important commandments is to love your God with basically everything possible, all of your mind. It's right here in this version, it says your passion, your prayer, intelligence, energy, basically everything you have inside of you. And then it, it says the second one, love others as well as you love yourself love your neighbor love your love people around you as much as you love yourself that's pretty incredible now when the bible talks about loving your neighbor it doesn't mean that you just show love and kindness to the people who you do know or to the ones who you, that you think deserve it but also to the people that you don't know and people who might not deserve it why because that's exactly what jesus did for us when he died on the cross. Now imagine if Jesus was like, hmm, you know what? Your favorite color isn't the same as my favorite color, so I'm not gonna die for you. That would be wild. <laughs> I'm so glad Jesus didn't do that. Jesus didn't care, you know, that we were easy to love or that we were nice. He died for everyone, everyone. It'd be so sad if he was like, hmm, I don't know, Jared, you wear glasses and I don't wanna die for people who wear glasses. I am so glad Jesus didn't say that, all right? I'm glad he died for everyone, including me, okay? So the next time you see somebody in need and maybe you don't know them or maybe you don't even like them, we're gonna be honest here, it doesn't matter. You should still treat them like a friend by showing them the love your neighbor kind of love because that's what legendary BFFs do. The Samaritan man and the man who got beat up on the left on the side of the road, I'm sure they were legendary BFFs because the Samaritan was willing to show that kind of love to that person. And so today, juniors, mighty kids, I wanna encourage you, 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 I see all you guys. I can see through the TV screen. I see through the iPad. I'm just kidding, I don't. I'm messing around. Uh, but I wanna encourage you to love your neighbor as yourself or even better, to love them with the love of God. Because if you have the love of God inside of you and you love your neighbors with that kind of love, that's the kind of love, I'm not even joking when I say this, that changes the world. Okay, well that's all the time that I have for uh, today. I really hope you Mighty Kids have a great week. I hope you guys love your neighbors, love your parents, love your friends at school and your teachers, even if you're watching them on Zoom. Doesn't matter, you can always love everybody. Before we let you go, 
I do want to say a prayer. So let's close our eyes. You can do this if you want. You don't have to pray like this, but sometimes I do. Um, but let's close our eyes. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to bow our heads. And well, I have to, I have to see at the camera, make sure that you guys are all. Are we ready? Who's ready? Say me if you're ready. Okay, you're ready. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today's lesson. I want to love people like the way you love me. So Jesus, please teach me to be nice and loving to all people. Just like the good Samaritan, Lord, help me to be on the lookout for ways to show your great love to the people who need it most. Thank you for hearing my prayer and for being a good, awesome Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says, Amen. All right, see you later, mighty kids. I challenge you to join the Good Samaritan.